Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Ah, plenty of heat out there on this Monday afternoon. Temperatures up at 95 for the daytime high officially in town. It's day number 41 this summer season with highs of 90 or better. We average 43. Listen, we're going to fly right past that number as we roll deeper into the work week because we got a lot of heat yet to come. Matter of fact, we've got record breaking heat that could occur across the region the next three days. Check this out. These are the forecast high temperatures in the city right through Friday. These are the record highs. You can see we're going to be very, very close. Lots of heat. If there is some good news to report, the humidity, it's not all that bad. And I think at least through Thursday morning, it'll stay relatively low like it is right now. As we move into Thursday afternoon, especially Friday, that humidity will really start to ramp up. Hey, outside right now, it, you know, if, if it wasn't hot out there, that's just a beautiful look, isn't it? Blue skies overhead, this live look on top of the Yum Center, looking northbound ad adjacent to the Clark Memorial Bridge. Notice the wind is pretty much calm, so the Ohio right now like glass out there. All right, the latest number, 93 degrees. Humidity, again, not bad, 33%, with the dew point around 60, a south-southwesterly breeze right now at 10 or so. And you can see the feel like is the same as the air temperature, and I think that trend will continue the next two to three days. Still gonna be hot though, don't get me wrong. Around the city we go, we have low 90s pretty much all across Jefferson County, extreme southern Clark County as well. 92 to 94 is the range around the metro. That's very representative as to what's going on top to bottom across the viewing area. These numbers are gonna stay pretty hot right through seven, eight o'clock, and then once the sun goes down, like last evening, the evening before that, the temperatures will also come down quite rapidly, making for a comfortable evening. Here's the weather in motion. My goodness, what a quiet weather pattern. Had it all last week through the weekend as well. Continues right now. The difference from last week, well, the upper level high is pretty much right on top of us. This is the heat dome, if you will. Last week it was down here in Texas. It's now very close to our region and will continue to be so the next two to three days. And you can see what's happening underneath that heat dome. The air sinks, it compresses, it warms up, so we don't have any showers and storms, but we have plenty of heat. Right now, you can see the upper 90s just off to the west. That's what we're expecting around our region the next three days. So when you wake up in the morning, it's gonna be comfortable out there. Upper 60s, low 70s will greet you. But just like today, with all that sunshine, and yep, the old loop is going here, Futurecast showing lots of sunshine. Those temperatures will jump in a hurry midday through the afternoon. Mid and upper 90s tomorrow afternoon. Keep in mind, an air quality alert remains in effect for tomorrow as well. So clear skies, quiet and warm. The 90s quickly go into the 80s, then into the 70s later this evening. Through the overnight, we'll settle back into the upper 60s and low 70s, about 73 in town. Around 90 by midday tomorrow. I think we'll be topping out very close to 99 tomorrow. Not only tomorrow, but Wednesday, Thursday. Vicki, as that weak front approaches Friday, that's the next best chance for a few widely scattered storms. We cool off a little bit for the long holiday week and back to where it should be for the time of year with upper 80s to near 90. But yeah, the upcoming long Labor Day weekend looks great right now with lots of dry time. Good. We just need some rain. Not often do you have 99, 99, 99. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the key got stuck, right? right.